I now give the floor to Ms. Marta Santos Paisi, Special Representative Secretary General on Violence Against Children. Thank you, Mr. President. Dear young people joining us today, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is with deep emotion that I am participating in this important commemorative session. I was here in this very hall of the Channel Assembly 25 years ago, witnessing the formal adoption of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. This was a moment of immense joy, celebrating the groundbreaking results of a long negotiation process in which I had the privilege of participating. I recall how we had been influenced by the spirit of the great Polish pediatrician, Janusz Korczak, encouraging us to place children first and above all legal, political, social, and economic differences, and recognizing that children are citizens of today and true agents of change. The Convention reflects this important vision and entrusts us with a compelling mission to spare no effort to translate its provisions into a tangible reality for children, all children, everywhere, at all times. 25 years later, I have the honor to address you and reflect together on whether the world we then imagine has become a reality. My mandate exposes me to the worst and the best of humankind. The worst is certainly the countless children exposed to violence, often in a pervasive, hidden, and concealed manner. Children are intentionally targeted in political-driven processes. They are manipulated in organized crime, sold and exploited for economic gains, groomed online, disciplined through violent means, sexually abused in the privacy of their homes, neglected in institutions, bullied in schools, stigmatized and ill-treated as a result of superstition and harmful practices. Every five minutes, a child dies as a result of violence. Children's pervasive exposure to violence is well documented by United Nations reports, academic evidence, and children's heartbreaking stories, which all convey a pressing sense of urgency. Distinguished delegates, for millions of children around the world, life is defined by two words, fear and pain. For them, the world has no safe heaven, and nations are missing the chance to build a better world for all. The Convention on the Rights of the Child recognizes the right of the child to freedom from violence, but yet only 10% of the world's children are protected from national legislation prohibiting all forms of violence, including within the home. Violence compromises all the rights of the child. It goes hand in hand with deprivation, with high risks of poor health, poor school performance, and long-term welfare dependency. In early childhood, the impact of violence is often irreversible. And as children grow, the cumulative exposure to manifestations of violence becomes a continuum spreading across children's life cycle and very often persisting across generations. But beyond the impact on individual victims and their families, violence is associated with far-reaching costs for society. It diverts billions of dollars from social spending, slowing economic development, and eroding nations, human, and social capital. Can we then say that the world is a better place for children? Since 1989, the world has made tremendous strides towards the realization of children's rights. The Convention has triggered decisive improvements in national laws, in the setup of institutions for the protection of children's rights, in the development of child-centered policies, child-friendly services. We recognize that the voice of children is being given incremental importance and influence in policy making. Thanks to the Convention, we have better trained professionals we witness the emergence of sound evidence on matters affecting children, and we see a positive change in behavior and attitudes towards children. Overall, progress across countries is also showing that violence is not inevitable, and indeed, it can be prevented and eliminated. Thanks to these efforts, children are safer, 
healthier, better educated, and more empowered. But this better world is simply not good enough. Children's ambition is to help build a world as big as their dreams. If we want to fulfill this aspiration, we need to accelerate efforts and make sure that the ethos of the Convention on the Rights of the Child inspires the way in which we all design the world every day. And the best way to succeed is to be with children at the drawing table. Distinguished delegates, my mandate also exposes me to the very best of humankind. And the best comes, not surprisingly, from children themselves. Time and time again, I meet child victims emerging from the worst of nightmares, and yet resilient, confident, generous, and showing us adults the way ahead. In all regions of the world, young advocates join hands with national authorities, civil society, and so many other allies in raising awareness about the detrimental impact of violence and empowering other young people to be the first line of protection from the risk of abuse and exploitation. Even in the most desperate of situations, children reveal hope for a better world and determination to achieve lasting change. It's much more than just positive thinking, it is about positively achieving. Dear friends, in this year of the commemoration of its 25th anniversary, we have a golden opportunity to make the convention center stage and promote a quantum leap in children's protection from violence. Placing the elimination of violence against children at the heart of the post-2015 development agenda can indeed bring us there. One thing is clear, the elimination of violence against children cannot be a dream of only a few. It needs to become a cause for us all. I remain fully committed to this endeavor. As we know, children's rights are more than just a set of articles. The vision of the Convention will not be fully realized unless children's rights become one of the pillars that sustain society and are embraced as a core value for the dialogue between generations. A better world for children is simply not enough. We need to aim at its perfection. Many thanks. I thank the Special Representative of the Secretary General on Violence Against Children for her statement.